you know, I look completely naked. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my bathroom. I'm not naked, I promise. I'm wearing a tube top, but today I'm recreating model makeup and for some reason I associate models with tube tops. It just makes sense to me. I'm really hating the fact that you see my deodorant all over my tube top. Let's all try to ignore that, okay? Great, Jamie editing out. There are very few reasons why I bring you guys down to my bathroom and one of the most common reasons is to do a Vogue inspired beauty secrets video. If you're not familiar with the Vogue beauty secrets series that they have on their channel, it's basically when models and celebrities do their makeup in their bathrooms. It's very, very casual, very chatty. So a while ago, I decided to start a similar series on my channel where I pretty much just get ready with you guys in my bathroom. Um, I do different themes today. Like I said, we're going to be recreating model makeup. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what we're going to be doing today. I would love if you guys could let me know in the comments your thoughts on today's makeup look the products that I use let me know also please what you would like to see me do next within this series and if you see a comment down below that you like give it a thumbs up so that I know a lot of people want to see it and hopefully in the next one I'll get to do it of course hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy the series and subscribe if you want to join the fam without further ado I don't know why I just did a spin that was so weird <laughs> okay let's just get started Wait a second. Let me rewind a little bit. I kind of need to like let you guys know why I decided to do the model makeup. Really the only reason is because I want to look like this. No, but seriously, a lot of the models on Instagram I find wear very similar makeup looks. Um, as far as like they're more natural, kind of everyday-ish looks, a lot of them tend to do kind of the same thing. I'm gonna pull up pictures right now so you can see the case study that I did on Instagram. I saved a lot of them. It's kind of like a typical soft glam look that we see a lot, but I find what models do best is they take even a kind of glam look and they still make it look so natural looking. And that's what I really love about all these looks and that's kind of what I want to accomplish today. It makes them look gorgeous and I hope it's gonna make me look the same. How can I get as close to Kendall Jenner's face as possible? This is it. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna redo my hair because it's looking horrible and I know when I'm editing this video, I'm gonna think to myself, Jamie, fix your hair or I'm going to kill you. I was waiting for this moment. I was like, what are you putting your hair up? It's so bad. So I actually just took a shower and I have not yet moisturized my skin. That was a huge mistake because it's been like 45 minutes and my skin feels like every every droplet of moisture has been sucked out of it. It feels so dry. So I kind of want to do a mask to revive it a little bit. Um, I also want something that's going to just give me a little bit of a glow. I actually used this fresh mask the other day and I really, really liked it. I found that it made my skin look really nice and radiant. So this is the Lotus Youth Preserve Rescue Mask Seaweed Radiance Facial. So this is really nice because you only have to kind of put on your face for five minutes. So it's quick and easy, which really works perfect for today because... I don't have time to sit here for half an hour with a mask on my face. There are little beads in here, so it will slightly exfoliate your face. There's not a lot of beads, it's not like a intense exfoliator or anything like that, but it's enough that it will kind of get rid of some dead skin. And I think that's mostly what contributes to the radiance that it gives the skin. I'm gonna let that sit for a few minutes and then I'll be back. Okay, so now that I've rinsed the mask off of my face, I'm gonna just quickly moisturize it. I'm gonna use my Tatcha Water Cream as my moisturizer today. I've been really enjoying this guy as of late. I've been really enjoying the Tatcha moisturizers in general. Uh, the Dewy Skin one is also really nice, although I find that actually can sometimes make my skin almost a little bit too dewy. Like I almost feel like it makes me look borderline oily. So I like it quite a bit with a more matte, long wearing foundation. But if I wear it every day, it could get a little bit tricky. So the goal for today's skin look is lightweight foundation that still perfects the skin and I want it to look really nice and bronze and glowy but not too glowy. So I'm going to 
take my Bobbi Brown Skin Long Wearing Weightless Foundation. You guys know I've been loving this. It's been my go-to recently. And I'm gonna mix in a little bit of my Neod Photography Fluid Opacity 8%. This is a really, really, really nice, very natural looking um, bronzing serum. Um, and I really like it mixed in with foundations. It kind of just adds that little touch of bronziness. So I'm gonna put uh, one and a half pumps of the foundation. I'm using the shade, by the way, Beige 3. So it's just actually a touch light for me now because I do have a tan but the bronzing drops are going to help darken it just a little bit and I put two drops of the bronzing serum in there. So I'm not going to even dot this on my face. I'm going to pick up the product from the back of my hand and that's because I don't want to over apply. I want to apply just enough that my skin looks perfected but I don't want to over apply it that it starts to look in any way heavy. So just picking up a little bit of the product. I'm going to just start to brush in downward strokes like this. The brush that I'm using is my Morphe G37. And you can see it just covers everything kind of perfectly without it really applying too much product. I also kind of want the freckles on my nose to show through a little bit because I find that a lot of the models kind of allow that to happen. They almost look a little bit sunburnt, you know, but in a cute way. Okay, I'm now gonna go in with my concealer today. I'm gonna be using my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. I used to use this stuff all the time, I used to talk about it all the time too. I don't know why, I kinda just stopped, only because I you know, discovered some newer concealers, but it's back in my life, baby, and I'm loving every moment of it. So I'm just gonna blend this out with the same brush. What I like about this concealer is it's a serum-ish kinda texture, so it's very hydrating. It looks super natural underneath the eyes, but it does have some nice coverage to it. So I'm just gonna set just a little bit, just in the center of my face and underneath my eyes. For that, I'm gonna take this palette from Hourglass. It's the Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 3. I'm gonna take this shade, which is the lightest shade of the palette, and this guy. I'm just gonna mix the two together. I like these powders because they keep the radiance in the skin, but they still set down the makeup. So you're not gonna get rid of you know any of the nice dewiness that you have. And model skin, keeps the dew. Okay, it is now time to do the eyes. I think the photo that I'm gonna take the most inspiration from is going to be this one over here, mainly because it's just a photo that I can really easily see what the eyes look like, but they all kind of have like some version of this look. So for the actual shadows, I'm gonna be using my Natasha Denona Biba palette, just because it literally has everything I need right here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Tusk, which is just like this nudish camel shade, and I'm going to dust this all over my lid, from my brow bone all the way down to my lash line. This is just to set any concealer that I put down onto my lid. So for my first transition shade, I'm gonna mix the shade Prairie with Freckle, just to get a nice combination of the two, with the same brush that I use. This is the Morphe JH36. And I'm just gonna to start to build this up right above my crease create a nice like warm shadow over there. Okay, so I'm gonna take a more precise blending brush. I'm gonna mix Cocoa and Seed, the two deeper browns in the palette to create something a little bit more neutral. And just pop this more so into the crease. Still letting the other shades that we just applied peek through. And I'm also connecting it on the outer corner. Okay, now going in with a more precise blending brush, going in with Just Seed, which is the more cool tone shade, and just more precisely applying that into the crease. And I'm just going to lightly run that underneath my lower lash line. I just have a nice kind of dark brown haze there, but I don't want anything too smoky or intense. And that works. So I am gonna go ahead and do a wing on my upper lash line, only going about halfway to really like elongate the eye even more. I'm gonna be using one of my favorites. This is the Pat McGrath Lab Perma Precision Liquid Eyeliner. This is such a black, very intense liquid eyeliner. It's great. Wow, that was almost too easy. I would like to just publicly acknowledge first that I'm well aware that these um, wings are not even close to being similar, but what can you do, okay? 
I tried my best. Anyways, to finish off the eyes, I'm gonna be taking my Ilia After Midnight Limitless Lash Mascara. So now moving on to the brows, I'm going to quickly do them using my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil as per usual. So I'm just gonna kind of fill in only the sparse areas. I find most of these models don't really have super defined, crazy looking, as in like very, very intense brows. They're all pretty like fluffy and natural looking. So I'm gonna try and achieve a similar effect. And also making sure to brush through everything pretty thoroughly with the little spoolie so that it doesn't look even filled in. And I'm making sure also to brush all my hairs upwards with the brow gel to make them look really nice and fluffy. And this brow gel from Benefit is the perfect brow gel to get that effect because it has a really nice fine tooth comb that really defines every single hair. So it gives you a super, super fluffy brow look. Before I forget, I kind of want to add something a little bit special to the eyes. This is the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Foil. It's kind of like a copper gold shade. It's very, very pretty. I'm going to just take a little bit of this on my finger and even dab off a little bit of the excess because I don't want too much pigment here. Just a little bit. And I'm just going to kind of dot this only in the center of my lid just to add a little bit of like a golden shimmer there. And this is gonna create such a pretty kind of glossy lid effect. I find a lot of these models kind of do this. And even if they did it, I don't really care because it just looks so pretty. <laughs> And here's a close up of what that looks like. So pretty. Okay, now it's time to finish off the face. I'm going to bronze my skin with Fenty in the sun. This is a pretty natural looking bronzer on my skin tone, and I didn't want anything too crazy intense that looked like I was, you know, artificially trying to bronze my skin. I wanted to just look naturally tan, so I didn't want a color that was too crazy. For my blush, I'm actually going to mix two of these Nude Sticks, Nudie's Bloom blushes. I really wanted to use these because these give a really nice dewy effect to the cheeks, which is what I want because, like I said, the models always love some dew on the cheeks. So I'm going to be taking Poppy Girl and Sweet Peach Peony, and I'm kind of just going to mix the two together on the back of my hand. And it creates this nice kind of like brightish coral shade. I'm going to pick it up with this Smith 115 and just apply it that way. I just want a nice soft soft flush a natural ish looking color that you know just adds some color to the cheeks and that really pretty glow look at that it's so nice i feel like this just adds such a useful look to the face and as you saw i just put a little bit across the bridge of my nose like the smallest amount to keep me looking nice and youthful. For my highlight, I'm gonna be taking my Ilia Liquid Light Serum Highlighter in the shade Nova. I've been really liking this lately. I've been very natural looking, very glossy highlighter. Are you kidding me? It's so nice. So taking that on my finger, kind of just dotting it on the apples of my cheeks and on my cheekbone, obviously. Also gonna put a little bit on my Cupid's bow. Okay, for the lip, a new glossy lip is obviously a go-to. So I'm gonna take Whirl from MAC and just line my lips. I'm making sure to blend the lip liner a bit with my finger because I don't want it to look harsh. And then I'm gonna take Beauty Counter Lip Sheer in Twig. It's a really pretty, very sheer nude. Very natural looking. Then I'm going to top that off with my Dose of Colors uh, lip gloss in uh, over the top. Pretty much just a clear gloss with gold shimmer. I'm putting this mainly in the center of my lips. Okay, I'm now going to make my hair look a little bit more presentable and I'll be back with the finished look. So I brought you guys into my beauty room to show you the finished look. It's not authentic to the uh, Vogue Beauty Secrets inspired video, but... I feel like it just gives you guys a better look of what the makeup looks like in the end. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I think it's really pretty. So that, guys, finishes off the whole entire tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed it and found it fun and entertaining and helpful. And if you end up recreating the look, I would love to see it. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram. Give this a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you want to join the fam. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.